Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas appeared before the House Judiciary Committee today. And of course, he deflects and lies about the border being secure. But Congressman Mike Johnson didn't let him get away with it. We have the frustrating responsibility on this committee of providing oversight of your agency. But I have to be honest and tell you, I'm not sure exactly what you do at the Department of Homeland Security other than great harm. On your watch, the data is pretty clear. We've had record levels of illegal immigration, a rapid decline in deportations, skyrocketing fentanyl deaths across our country. And the Secret Service, which is a DHS component, can't determine who left cocaine at the White House. And he's right. DHS Secretary Mayorkas has been a complete failure along with Joe Biden at the helm. Join me now is that man, Louisiana Congressman Mike Johnson. Thank you for joining us and thank you for holding him somewhat accountable. That smug attitude, that little smirk he had through that whole hearing, really, really annoying to the American people, especially when we know what's going on. He's letting people come on in, wipe right in. Why does he still have a job? This is a great question, Eric. We have, uh, frustrating is the right word, that's why I used it today. We're supposed to be providing oversight over the Department of Homeland Security, but it's impossible to do it when the leader of that agency, the secretary himself, is so deceitful. I told him to his face today in the hearing that I've been serving in Congress almost seven years. He is by far the most dishonest witness that has ever appeared before our committee. And that's saying something. I mean, he, he is personally responsible, Eric, for the open border catastrophe. You and I know it and all the American people know it. He's, he's responsible for the skyrocketing uh, fentanyl deaths, uh, for, for this human trafficking crisis that we have. He has administered this, and, and it's an absolute catastrophe. Congressman, you know, one of the things, yes, we all are, are ticked off about the millions upon millions of illegals who come across the border illegally, you know, filling up our schools, our hospitals, our jails. One of the things that not a lot of people are talking about, and Democrats should have a concern with this, 114 people on the terror watch list have been caught. 114 under Joe Biden. That's tenfold on, uh, that happened under under Trump. And when terrorists come across here, Congressman, I'm pretty sure they don't blow up places that house only Republicans. Well, that's right. It ought to be an incredible front of mind concern for every single American. And by the way, that's only the numbers that we know about. Of course, we've had 5.6 estimated. I think the number is actually higher than that. 5.6 million illegal alien encounters at the border since President Biden took office, since Mayorkas has been in that office in his post, and, and we've got 1.6 million gotaways. These are just the numbers that are estimated. We, it's much higher. So if we know of 114 known terrorists, you can assume that number may be twice as high. Who knows? We don't know what they're plotting. We don't know where they are, but it's, it's a great risk to the American people. And the secretary of the department seems not to care. He was completely evasive today. Um, he, he just kind of rambles through the answers and tries to run the clock out, and he's very, very good at it. And so we're not able to bring that accountability that our constituents, that the, that the people are demanding and they deserve. You know what the impeachment process uh, you know, encompasses in the House. I mean, we're, we're looking at the president himself because of what his son's done. So uh, Mayorkas would be an easy lift, but Chuck Schumer and the, the Democrats in the Senate are never going to going to go through with that. They're never going to actually impeach these folks. And Secretary Mayorkas knows it. And that's why he's got that smug look on his face and just look. I, I know that he said things under oath today that are demonstrably untrue. He said things that confounded and contradicted his own testimony in the Congress just a year ago. But he, he just doesn't seem to care at all. And that's, it's just such a frustrating exercise for us. That, that smug attitude right there, control, keep that, keep that picture of that guy up, Mayorkas, right there. It, it just, it, it's frustrating. It's aggravating knowing that millions upon millions of illegals are, are coming into this country. And he's got that look on his face instead of someone who may have culpit, someone who says, look, it's been bad. We got to fix it. He is sitting there knowing very well he's got the support of one Joe Biden and the border czar, Cammie Harris. Congressman Mike Johnson, keep it up, keep the pressure up, but thank you for being here, sir.